Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button and stayed for a while. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you could tell from the title of this video, today I'm going to talk about beauty products that I was influenced into purchasing and I ended up really adoring. I did ask you all over on my community tab here on YouTube for items that I have influenced you into buying that you love. So that video is also coming. But for today, it's makeup products that I was influenced and I absolutely love. So let's get started with this video. All right, hair is pulled back. First item is an item that I use as primer and it is the Road Glazing Milk. I actually already poured some on my hand because I thought it was recording. This was influenced by Miss Alana. Now I will have screenshots somewhere of their channel and I will also go ahead and tag their channel. So the Road Skin Glazing Milk, I did not purchase when it first launched. I'm pretty sure it was close to when it launched, like maybe a month after. But Alana, Alana, I cannot remember her name, but I do watch her from time to time. She's a Canadian-based uh, YouTube content creator. She just made it seem so wonderful. She has way different skin than I do. She's dry skin. I do feel like her preferences and the style of makeup that she enjoys, I enjoy as well. She's the one that convinced me that I needed to try this and I'm glad that she did because I love this and it has been keeping my skin on point as far as my face goes during this cold winter, so thank you. Next product is a MAC product and it is the MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body Foundation. Uh, Radiant Sheer Foundation. I would definitely say that is the perfect way to describe this. I have the shade C3 and this was influenced by Miss Lexi Face It. Now, her channel was something else before it was Lexi Face It. I think she was going through, I'm guessing separation from her husband because I think they're back together now. So she changed the name of her channel and also her channel, it's not as beauty focused as it used to be. Just beauty content, not necessarily reviewing new makeup. This is the Makeup Forever um, Foundation Brush. This is exactly what it says. It is a sheer coverage foundation, but I love this. It is so good. It leaves my skin looking beautiful. And you already know that I don't like too much coverage. Plus, if I need a tiny bit more coverage, I could just mix another foundation with this, or I can just make sure that I cover the areas with whatever concealer I'm going to use. But it leaves my skin looking so nice, so almost natural looking. It's, it's a good one. And I need to use this more often, but I have so many foundations. <laughs> It's hard to do that. Skin is looking like absolutely beautiful. I totally forgot to go in with other primers. I All I have on is the Road Skin. I normally do at least something in my T-zone and sometimes even an actual primer because for me, the Road Skin Glazing Milk is more of a moisturizing prepping step, but I think I'll be all right. It's winter outside. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't care. <laughs> So the next product is a concealer and it's a pretty bougie concealer, but it's a good one. And it is from Clay de Po. It is the stick concealer, the beauty concealer. I have the shade Five Honey and this was influenced by Miss Tanya B. Wells. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I adore her channel. I love her content. Um, she's just, her demeanor and how she is almost calms and soothes me in a way. This concealer, one, it's pretty expensive, <laughs> um, but it's so good. And I did get it on sale. I believe I paid 60 or $65 for it compared to the $90 that it costs. 
it's a pretty natural kind of concealer so if you need a more full coverage under your eyes i don't think this concealer is for you i mean you can try color correcting and then using it but i do feel like this caters more to those who enjoy like no makeup makeup kind of style and all of the makeup youtube content creators that i do watch most of the ones that i do really trust their recommendations is because they have similar taste to how their makeup application what they enjoy in the eyes i can relate when it comes to their makeup style for myself so pretty i love this concealer have not picked it up in so long and i just remembered how much i love it and it's looking beautiful with the mac okay this next product was influenced by miss andrea ali and she is a france-based makeup artist it's from westman atelier it is the cream contour in biscuit she uses both biscuit and the second shade i can't remember uh I can't remember the name of it, but it's a tiny bit more on, I wanna say the warmer side and darker. This one I would say is more of a true contouring shade, at least for me. Yeah, it's a beautiful product. Is it pricey? You bet your behind it is. Um, they actually just released minis in this, which are $25. Yes, the value of the product you get doesn't make sense but if you have more than one bronzer getting a mini doesn't hurt you and at least if you do go through the mini you know that you really do like that product and maybe you should buy a full size buying you know a super bougie product for 25 dollars just so you can try it out before committing to the full size sounds way more appealing to me this product beautiful blends like a dream i love the shade for contouring it is absolutely perfection this is the Nikki La Rose and BK Beauty N15. I've already tell you for the concealer, I used the BK Beauty 110. Okay, I don't think I have a cream bronzer or a cream blush. So let me apply that and then we'll move on to powders because I do have some powder products that I was influenced into buying. Okay, next we're going to do powder. And I have two options here. The Makeup Forever Pressed Powder in Translucent Format Under Eyes. Lexi from Lux Face It. Yeah, thanks to her. That's why I started using that on my under eyes and love it. Absolutely love it. And for powder that I'll be using for the rest of my face, the Givenchy Loose Powder. Pretty much every single beauty content creator I watch, Morgan Turner, Tanya B. Wells, Nikki LaRose, they have all said this powder is absolutely amazing. Now, some of them recommend it for the under eyes and it does work decently for me for my under eyes, but I prefer the Makeup Forever pressed powder for my under eyes. So that's what we're gonna use right now to set this face because I always set my face. I'm that person. <laughs> I'm just going to set my under eyes with a tiny bit of MAC Fix Plus before I go in with powder. If you know, you know. If you don't, you need to go check out my video where I share some beauty hacks that changed you, my audience's game. Okay, I use my puff. This is from Sephora. And then I just pat a makeup forever powder. And do you see how smooth my under eyes look? This keeps my under eyes in place without super extreme creasing all day. The Givenchy, such a good powder. Smooths everything out, keeps my oils at bay all day. And for me, all day is between eight to 10 hours because that's about how long I wear my makeup for. Very rarely do I wear my makeup for 10 plus hours. Okay, I actually went ahead and put on some powder bronzer and I forgot to mention what I used for the cream bronzer and the cream blush. I went into the LYS cream bronzer. I 
forget what shade, but I think it's the second lightest shade. And then one of the new shades of the new uh, Lip and Cheek from Chanel. And powder bronzer I went in to Charlotte Tilbury, the highlighter and bronze duo in the shade Light. For powder blush, we're going to jump into Laura Mercier because Morgan Turner is the one who influenced me into buying a Laura Mercier blush. The first one I purchased was in the shade Ginger, which is such a beautiful formula. I don't think the Laura Mercier blushes are talked about enough. It is truly such a good formula. Now the shade Ginger is a tiny bit light and I do have to really build it up, but that formula is so beautiful. Uh, so when they came out with these, the blush color infusion, I purchased the shade Very Berry. Such a good blush. I love this. Absolutely love this. Morgan Herner knows what she's talking about when it comes to a good amount of makeup products, but so good. Uh, Sonia G Soft Cheek. And Sonia G is another beauty product that I was influenced into buying. Gosh, I want to say for a couple of years, I would tell myself, those brushes are so expensive, I would never pay that much just for one brush. You should see my Sonia G brush collection right now. <laughs> the person I have to thank for that is Miss, I think Alicia is her name from Kinky Sweat. Yeah, she goes into depth when it comes to Sonia G brushes and she speaks just so eloquently and you can tell that she's been using Sonaji brushes for quite some time. Well, she influenced me into purchasing some Sonaji brushes and now I think they are absolutely fabulous. And like I said, you should see my collection of Sonaji brushes cuz it's actually not large, but it's it's pretty decently. <laughs> All right. So I do have on my NARS eye base, which that purchase was actually influenced from Miss Ellie Glines. Uh, I don't know what's going on because I think only the translucent shade is available at Sephora. So they're either reformulating or getting rid of that coming out with the new one. I don't know. I have not found an eye base that I enjoy or comes close to the NARS eye base, but that's just, you know, my personal opinion. <laughs> okay, so for eyes, as you can tell, we are going to put on some eyeshadow and surprisingly, yes, there is an eyeshadow palette in this video. And that is from Victoria Beckham. This is the Smoky Eye Brick in Tweed. And this was influenced by Miss Blair from Simply Blair and Tanya B. Wells. It is such a cute, very small little eyeshadow palette but I feel like this is just so perfect. The size, the weight, these shades specifically, and I feel like she does have a good variety for you to pick from. This formula though, this formula, oh my gosh. So good. If it wasn't for me having so many eyeshadow palettes, I would probably use this every single day. So let me create a quick little eye look with this because I have about 20, maybe 25 minutes before we need to go, so. Okay, that's how I'm going to leave the eyes. Simple, pretty, straight to the point. <laughs> now we're gonna move on to eyebrows. And I have only heard one of the people that I watch that makes beauty content on YouTube talk about this. She is the reason why I purchased it. And I recently picked it up again and remembered how much I love it. It's the Gucci Brow Pencil. Oh gosh, what is this called? Crayon definition powder eyebrow pencil from Gucci. If you are somebody who has sparse eyebrows and really needs to fill in and draw in hair like strokes, this is not for you. This is for those who are comfortable with just filling in and then putting brow gel and that's it. Like nothing super intricate, nothing like that. It's like quick and I'm going to not talk during this. <laughs> Okay, and that is it. That's what I do. I just put on my brow gel and boom, we are 
done. Yeah, like I said, if you're somebody who needs to put in hair like strokes and just be very intricate with their eyebrows, this product's not for you at all, but for me, it works beautifully. Tanya B. Wells is the person who influenced me into purchasing this and I'm so grateful because it is so good. Yeah, when this is done, I will be repurchasing this product for sure. Okay, just two more and we are done with this video, which is great because I, yeah, I'm cutting it close. <laughs> Next is mascara. Unfortunately, I don't have on the mascara that I'm going to talk about. I don't like to have too many mascaras open all at once because then they end up drying out. Uh, currently, I have the What's Up Beauty, the MAC Stack, sample of the Kevin Aquan, and a sample of the YSL, and I think those are the only mascaras I have open. So I'm trying to use those up before I open anymore, and I actually only have one new mascara still in its packaging and it's the one that I'll be talking about today. It's the Cali Ray Mascara. It is the Come Hell or High Water Mascara and this is a tubing mascara. Now, I cannot remember who's the one that convinced me. I wanna say it was Khaki Reviews Makeup, but I could be wrong, but that's, that's who's popping in my head when I think about it. But I love this mascara. It is my absolute favorite number one mascara ever that I have tried. I'm trying to finish those up and then I'll be opening this mascara up. Um, and of course I'll have to buy some more mascaras. I kind of want to try the KVD Tubi Mascara. If you have tried it, let me know. For today, I do have on the MAC Stack and the YSL Mascara. Okay, now for the very last beauty product I was influenced into purchasing. Oh, I just fell in love with it and Unfortunately, it is no longer available. I'm sorry, so sorry. It's from Pat McGrath. It is her Divine Rose Skin Fetish Ultra Glow Highlighter. It is so pretty. This baked formula, ugh, the tone. Ugh. Miss Charlotte Haltcroft is the one that I have to thank for this. Out of almost every single highlighter I have tried, this one takes the cake because it's that. Good. I'm gonna use this Sonia G Worker L. I'm gonna be upset the day that either this goes bad and I can no longer use it or I finish it. Whichever one comes first. It is just so pretty. Do you see that? <sighs> that peachy undertone. It's like a peachy pinky undertone. So good. I love this. I pick it up from time to time and can't stop using it. But then I tell myself, no, no, no. This is no longer available. <laughs> She did bring it back sometime last year and you guys sold it out. So, okay, here is the full completed face. For the brow gel, I did go in to the Make Beauty brow gel, which I've actually really been enjoying. And for the lips, I went in to a Glam Light lip liner. It was part of the Frosted Flakes collection and then that Chanel lip and cheek little cream product. Okay, but here is full completed makeup with beauty items that I was influenced into buying and I absolutely ended up loving them. I would definitely love to know what are some products some of your favorite influencers have influenced you into picking up and you actually ended up really, really enjoying them, loving them, becoming a staple, whatever the case may be. I feel like sometimes we do get some good recommendations. <laughs> In this beauty space. All right, my lovelies, that's going to be it for this video. I need to go. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea. All the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it truly does mean the world to me. With that being said, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you all on the next video. Bye!